Alison Tower is one of the most vital characters in the Dance of the Dragons, the second wife of King Viserys, the mother to four of his children, and the mother to King Aegon II. The role she played in King Aegon II claiming the Iron Throne is one of the defining points of Targaryen history. Let us explore the early life of Alicent Hightower and maybe gain a better understanding of what led her down the path of fire and blood. Alicent was born in 88 AC to Otto Hightower and his wife, whose name has been lost to history. Otto was a younger brother of Lord Hightower, who is unnamed in Fire and Blood. However, in the TV adaptation House of the Dragon, this Lord Hightower is given the name Hobart Hightower. Alicent also has several unnamed elder brothers, and a younger brother named Gwen Hightower, born in 96 AC. Leading theories as to why her elder brother's names have been lost to the annals of time include the idea that they died as children, perhaps came septons or maesters. However, the eldest of her brothers doing so does seem odd, despite the fact that Otto and his branch of the family are not directly in line to become Lord of the Hightower. Alicent would spend much of her early childhood in Old Town, until in the year 101 AC, her father was named as Hand of the King to the legendary King Jaehaerys Targaryen, replacing Jaehaerys' son and heir, Prince Balon, who tragically died of a burst belly. As is tradition, the new Hand, Otto, brought his wife, the 13-year-old Alicent, and her younger brother to court with him as he took up his post and moved the family into the Red Keep's Tower of the Hand. The old King Jaehaerys was broken by the death of Prince Balon and his beloved wife, Good Queen Alisan, in such a short space of time. This all began to take a toll on his health, leaving him almost entirely bedridden. This effectively left Otto to rule the Seven Kingdoms himself with the aid of the small council. The king would only be consulted on major decisions. Given her position as the daughter to the hand of the king, Alicent was given the role of the king's carer and companion. She fetched his meals and fed them to him, help him wash and dress himself. But the thing that both the young Alicent and the old king enjoyed most of all was the long afternoons and evenings she would spend reading to him, sometimes late into the night, till the dawn sun began to rise. The old king was a keen historian himself, and enjoyed the works of his former hand and close friend Septon Bath. Alison too took great pleasure in reading since early childhood, be it collections of poems, dusty old tomes of history, or even the king's favourite book, Septon Bath's Dragons, Worms and Wyverns, The Unnatural History. By 103 AC, King Jaehaerys had begun to lose his wits and mental faculties to some degree, and began to mistake Alison for his long-lost daughter, Sarah. Other than her youth, Alicent bore little resemblance to the princess, who bore the traditional Targaryen look, whereas Alicent very much looked of House Hightower. Soon after, the old king died, with Alicent the only person there to witness it. It is said it was from Septon Bath's controversial book Alicent was reading from as the king passed at the age of 69. He reigned over the Seven Kingdoms since coming to the Iron Throne at the age of 14 and was by far the best King Westeros had ever seen since the time of Aegon's conquest. Alicent would not play much of a role until 105 AC, where after the death of his first wife, Emma Arryn, the new King Viserys announced that he would marry his hand's clever and lovely 18-year-old daughter, Alicent, to the shock and surprise to most at court. Most of all, among the small council, Viserys had been very reluctant to remarry after the death of Emma in childbirth. The small council would even try to match him with the 12-year-old Lena Valarian, a very astute political match. Few on the small council expected the king to announce the marriage, let alone the identity of his chosen bride. Alicent was young, with beautiful black curls that she always wore neatly and was very easy on the eye. All men agreed, but many among the small council began to question how Alicent had caught the king's eye in the first place. The high towers of Old Town were an ancient and noble family of impeccable lineage. There could be no possible objection to the king's choice of bride. Even so, there were those who murmured that the hand Otto Hightower had risen above himself, that he had brought his daughter to court with his very venture in mind. Few even cast doubt on Lady Alicent's virtue, suggesting she had welcomed King Viserys into her bed even before the death of Emma Arryn. However, there is little to no evidence to suggest this was actually true. Since we are focusing on the early life of Alicent, it is fair to discuss some of the rumours that circled around her during these years. Rumours much like that of her relationship with King Viserys have little or no credence to them. However, could explain some events that directly led to the Dance of the Dragons. One of the earliest rumours came from Queen Rhaenyra's fool, Mushroom, who suggests that the feeding and caring for the dying King Jaehaerys was not the only service the young Alicent provided the king in his bedchamber. However, again, there is little to no evidence to support 
support this claim, and given the nature of most of Mushroom's testimonies, most likely can safely be set aside. The second rumour, again from Mushroom, while still having very little to no supporting evidence, does have some flimsy circumstantial evidence but it is still very much reaching when given the source of the information. It is well known that in the early rule of King Viserys, Otto Hightower took a great dislike for the king's younger brother, Daemon, who served as master of coin on the small council. The fool suggested that this enmity between the two is due to Daemon apparently taking Alicent's virtue, which if were true would be scandalous for the future queen and the hand. This, if true, could lead to Otto's deep dislike for Daemon and explain his actions somewhat. However, none of these rumours really have much substance to them, even if they do go some way into explaining some motivation Plus, the two rumours from Mushroom on their own contradict each other. The only rumour surrounding Alicent during her early years that holds any water is the idea that Otto strategically placed Alicent in the positions he did with the intent for it to lead her to becoming queen. From bringing her to court, being Jaehaerys' carer and Viserys suddenly being taken by her, all very much has the fingerprints of Otto Hightower all over them. If this were true, it would mean that much of Alicent's early life was being used as a tool for Otto's political manoeuvring.